Society. My partner and I set out to liberate any living being we can find at this auction. One that I had visited many times and remembered quite vividly finding myself in a different dimension. One where no sentient beings belongs. One that should never be erected in the first place. One that, one that needs to be shut down permanently. We found a sick pig dying, a three month old suffering in a bed, giving up, taking his last breath. We didn't want to let him die in that hellhole. We negotiated his surrender. Louis was weak, scared and confused at the live auction where he was dumped, meant to be sold by his loving farmer John. Louis was rushed to New Bolton Center in Pennsylvania. He calmed down and stopped shaking for a while as we sat close to him and warmed him up in a blanket. Clearly he was dehydrated and we gently gave him his first drink that he had in who knows how long. Louis was rushed to New Bolton Center and then they was re he was greeted and cared for and received medical attention and was met by an amazing team of vet technicians awaiting for his arrival. The vet, myself and Jill Carnegie carefully went over his frail condition, the pros and cons. We never hesitated to cover his medical expenses, not even once. We suggested and begged the vet to do everything possible to save his life. Louis's condition became critical for the next 48 hours. Remember, he was left to die in a pen. Louis appeared to have neurological issues that made it difficult for him to move, to breathe, and his vision was questionable. When the auction workers couldn't force him out of the pen with the rest of the pigs, they tossed him in a pen with gigantic cows, assuming he would die on his own and languish on his own. It's very possible that he suffered a stroke, seizure, or both without any care for him. The initial assessments revealed Louis is mentally abundant. He likely had a disease of the nervous system, central nervous system, sorry. Severe pneumonia, dehydration, and other complications. We could tell that he wanted to live. You could tell by the rough treatment he endured, even for the first few seconds of our video, that he suffered so